Um, it's more important to have a good, a good memorable wedding rather than to have like a toy that only makes me happy. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> you have a lot of toys that make you happy. Shut up. Oh, Your room so is full of them. Shut up. <laughs> no, I can't take. And that you write it all the time too. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs>
a galaxy theme because we like stargazing, we like Star Wars. And exploring. Expl yeah. I don't know, it's just the whole thing about galaxies, like, you don't, for me at least, like, you don't really know what's out there until you go look for it. And I feel like that's another way that it relates to memories or materials, too, It's kind of like, you know, space is not fully explored, and it's kind of like how life is. You haven't explored everything else yet. And I personally love stargazing. Which reminds me, I do want to go to Alaska to look at, like, the northern lights. You do a cruise. That'll probably be one of our adventures, future adventures, hopefully. Yeah, that'll be fun. Alright, so next is the stationary section. I don't have anything in here. Clearly, I have a few notes, like prices from Costco. I was told that it's a lot cheaper just ordering cardstock online and printing it yourself, which is completely fine. And then the attire. Again, I don't have anything in here other than samples of fabric. I do love the chiffon fabric. Chiffon. Chiffon. I don't even know what the hell that means. It's a type of fabric. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I'm hoping my dress is this material. Because mm. it's it's not heavy and it's very breathable. Alright, beauty. Once again, I don't have anything in here. And I'm just starting this out, by the way. That's why it's kind of empty. Ceremony section. Well, we want to get married in a church. Mm -hmm. In this section, we just have the church information. That's it. Reception. I don't want to disclose too much information because I want to keep it a surprise for our guests mm -hmm. and, fam and family. I mainly have the venue information, contact information, uh, contract, the layout, the layout, the pricing, and then last but not least, this section, other. So it has all my notes. Call me weird, but I did jot down last year's weather. So I know what it's like. For... I do that when we when I schedule us camping. <laughs> really? Yeah, I always look at like the previous year's weather of when's the hottest. But did you actually like write it down? Well, I, I wrote it phone. down like as like a calendar. Holy shit. Yeah. See, this is this is what I mean by being really organized. Weirdo. Shut up. I'm just kidding. I love you. So that's all there is for the wedding itself, and then there are other sections like the day after. I don't think we're doing anything the day after. Most likely we'll get something to eat, but. No, nothing too special or extravagant. And then the honeymoon, which we still have to discuss. We keep, we have ideas, but we don't, we haven't decided. Go big or go yet. home. I like to do tourist, touristy stuff. I want to go to Paris, but Josh wants to go to some tropical island. You can do both. That's it for our wedding brighter for now. Again, it's just a guideline. You don't have to follow what I have here. This make just, it how you want it. Make it how you want it. This is just how... This is this is just what works for me, personally. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's my turn. Let me turn on screen recording so you guys can see what I'm doing. Hopefully this works out well. Alright, cool. So now, should be able to see. So, um, for the things like the uh, budget sheet and our guest list it's a lot easier for us to collaborate and work on it at first at first we started it on an excel sheet and we spread it through dropbox but it's a little bit tough to edit on dropbox and um you know re-upload it. it's just a little bit of hassle so thank you google for inventing google drive um so here we have two different excel sheets we have the budget sheet and our wedding guest list so we're not going to show um the guest list at this time because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings so <laughs> uh you know how that goes just know that you know in terms of our guest list we did what we can we wish we could invite everybody but you know it is what it is so here uh we have our google docs list of um everything itemized as far as what we need to pay for i kept the prices out of the screen just for the sake of you know i don't know i don't really want to share how much we're paying for a wedding to each their own um don't really judge your wedding based off of how much money you spend. To be honest, it's all everybody's personal preference. You don't have to, you're not really impressing anybody. You're just, it's all just for you, your family, and your close friends. So, um, if anything, again, memories over materials. I don't know. You don't have to go all balls out. We're not going balls out where, with our budget. We just want to have a good time. We just want everybody to enjoy it. Um, so, yeah. So, just to break it down, we have everything listed here. Uh, we have our venue, caterer, church. DJ and MC, the decorations, party favors, videography, photography, engagement photos, photo booth, if we have one, uh, invitations, dinner rehearsal, cake, wedding, party gifts, organizer gifts, rings, alcohol, hotel, and other staffing that we may need for the venue. Uh, to the column to the right, we have the vendors, obviously the description of who we're having. Um, most of this stuff is confirmed, so I think it's okay to share. Uh, 
the Costco alcohol. Actually, yeah, in regards to alcohol, that's actually going to change, so we can keep that up. But um, just know that it's going to be a really good wood. It's going to be fun. I can't disclose any information, that information classified until the, <laughs> until the actual day of the wedding. Um, but just know um, it's a very helpful tool, I think. Google Drive is a very helpful tool and having, having an Excel sheet um, to really keep track of your total costs. Um, dang, I really wish I could show, well, yeah, I really wish I could show the totals, but I really don't want to. It's so contradicting. But the reason why we use Excel sheet yeah. is so that it can calculate itself. Yeah, yep, exactly. You can calculate how much we're spending in total for the for the whole wedding. And it actually helped us a lot because when we looked at it, I was like, man, our, well, that's how much we're spending. And it made us rethink a lot of things and, you know, made us erase the unnecessary things that we don't need. So it's a good tool. Um, to keep you organized and to keep track of all your finances. Uh, same thing with the wedding guest list. I, I think I'm just gonna blur this out. But obviously you just have everything separated. Um, well, Tina made this actually. So it's separated by family, my family, her family, our friends, and a wait list. So when we send out our RSVPs and when we get them back, don't think of it as if you got your invitation that late that you're a B-list guest. It just means that you know we you're next in line. It just it's don't take it personal. We want if anything we want to invite everybody, but you know we're not rich like that. So you take it where you live. All right, just be thankful you got invited. And, <laughs> and may I add the venue can only fit so much. Yeah. On top of that, we want to have places, a uh, space to dance and space to walk around and breathe, not necessarily be cramped up like sardine. So uh, yeah, we're doing this for you too. Um, we have it separated by my family guest list, their contact information, address, how many kids they have that they, we think they're going to be bringing, um, list of phone numbers, emails, and it's all separated. So like, I know it's blurred out right now, but you got to imagine if it's separated in columns from left to right, it'd be like name, what kind of relationship we have with them, are they our cousin, our aunt, our uncle, um, how many kids they have, what their address is, phone number, email, and the total that family has. And that, it, since it's an Excel, it gives us a total count. Um, of how much each section is. So again, Tina's family, my family, and then our friends guest list. Oh, and we also include the vendors in our budget as well. So that way we make sure we have food for them. And uh, it gives us our, our overall total number. That way, you know, when we're, when we're budgeting, we have that total number to you know, keep us on track. Yeah, that's about it for my end. Well, oh, this is not ideal. there's also another section here uh, with our guest list. This is like actually be a separate document, but we're gonna show it anyway. I'm, I'm gonna show this. So basically, the C program is the church program. This is just a template, I guess you could say. Uh, so fill in the blank kind of thing. Um, what's gonna happen at the actual church, and then our R program, which is our reception. Uh, what basically what's gonna go down? Is this or, or, organized chronological? Like top to bottom, is it like beginning to the end of? Yes. It is? Okay, yeah. So basically our order from top to bottom, the cocktail hour, introduction, introduction of the wedding party, when we walk in and dance. We're blessed. dancing and not walking, we're oh, yeah. dancing. We're dancing in, yeah. <laughs> Soul train. <laughs> but uh, yeah, blessing, dinner, toast, etc. You can see the list here. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I've got. Just, uh, yeah, these tools definitely help us out a lot. <clears throat> yeah, that, that concludes my portion of it uh, with the wedding list and the budgeting list and the programs for the wedding. Yeah. So that's just what we have so far. Uh, we don't want to disclose too much details yeah. because we want to make we want to keep it a surprise mm -hmm. for our guests. Yep, yeah. and we yeah we have a lot of stuff we left out just for the sake of surprising everybody. Mm -hmm. you know, it's gonna be fun. Um, it's not really hitting me. It was hit, it wasn't hitting me until after we got the venue. I'm freaking yeah. out. So once we got the venue, that's when we had to buckle down and make phone calls. And for those of you watching this video now, the date is October 8th when we recorded this. Uh, just letting you know if we haven't hung out in a while or I stopped hitting everybody up. You know why. Yep, it's because we gotta really gotta buckle down. And you, we yeah. gotta save money. Yep. Because we're doing this for you guys. Yep. And well, for us mainly, but we want everyone to enjoy our Yeah, wedding. we want you to guys have a good time. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed our video. Um, hopefully we explained everything to where um, it gives you a better insight on how to organize your wedding if you plan on doing your own wedding. Um, yeah. If you have any suggestions um, to 
about like the wedding binder binder mm -hmm. and if you have any questions or ideas yes fun stuff to do with the wedding just comment to those out. below yeah let us know yeah, that's it. give this video a thumbs up <laughs> if you like it <laughs> oh my gosh yeah thank you again for joining us we will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe jesus christ all right peace